Naruto stood face to face with Reikage, the leader of the Hidden Cloud Village. Hanada, Naruto's friend and teammate, was lying unconscious on the ground behind him. Reikage had attacked her and kidnapped her, and Naruto was not going to let him get away with it. You will pay for what you've done, Naruto said, his voice full of anger. Reikage chuckled. You think you can take me on, kid? I am the Reikage, the leader of the Hidden Cloud Village. You are nothing compared to me. Naruto didn't back down. He charged at Reikage, his fists glowing with chakra. Reikage was fast, but Naruto was faster. He dodged Reikage's attacks and landed a few hits of his own. But Reikage was not an easy opponent. He was strong and skilled, and he knew how to fight. He landed a few blows on Naruto, sending him flying across the field. Naruto got back up, determined to save Hanada. He charged at Reikage again, this time with even more power. He unleashed his Rasengan, a powerful ball of chakra, and aimed it at Reikage. But Reikage was ready. He dodged the attack and countered with his own move. He grabbed Naruto by the arm and threw him to the ground. You are no match for me, Reikage said. Give up now and I might spare your life. Naruto refused to give up. He got back up, his eyes glowing with determination. He knew he had to save Hanada no matter what. He charged at Reikage again, this time with a new move. He had learned a new jutsu, the Shadow Clone Jutsu, and he used it to create multiple clones of himself. Reikage was caught off guard. He didn't know which Naruto to attack, and he was soon overwhelmed by the clones. While Reikage was distracted, Naruto ran towards Hanada and picked her up. He then used his speed to escape the village and take Hanada back to the Hidden Leaf Village. Reikage was furious. He had been outsmarted by a young ninja, and he had let his prisoner escape. He knew he would have to deal with Naruto again in the future, and he was not looking forward to it.